inhale and sip too. Well, I'm just a person who loves teaching and that's who I am in a nutshell. Right. I do two different things outside. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I have a Saturday program I run at church um, for free. So where I'm helping um, learners with um, reading with comprehension. Some learners can read, but that doesn't mean they know how to do it with comprehension. In my second thing that I'm doing, I do workshops at schools. And I started with this last year as a thank you to the schools for allowing my SPL students to do the SPL at the schools and a way of saying thank you to the schools. And because I, I noticed a lot of gaps in the classes, I'm like, how can I give back? So then I've decided on doing some workshops and I work with the HODs and the principals and we meet and I talk to them what I do. So I do reading and writing workshops in the schools. And the last one I did was two weeks ago at Dalros Primaries in Utsnay. And that's my work that I do outside because I enjoy it so much. What, what led me into that direction was sitting in companies and, and teachers complain about the learners, we cannot discipline them. The learners is unruly and all of that. Going into the classes, I see a different thing. I don't see learners that's unruly. I see learners that are bored. I see learners who are not able to do the work because it's, it's only being taught in one way. And therefore, I'm like, there are gaps here. There are big gaps. Because in this age, you cannot have a teacher still standing in front with a chalk and she wants to talk all the time. In most cases, the classes are so teacher-directed. The lessons are teacher-directed. The learners just have to sit there and listen and do what the teachers say. Teachers teach five minutes and then learners have to complete worksheets and worksheets and worksheets. And my motto to my students is, don't impress me with the worksheet. Impress me with the teaching and impress me with releasing the content, gradually releasing it to, for learners to start taking responsibility. Impress me with how you deliver it differently so that you don't fall into the trap to say that the learners cannot do this, the learners are unruly. Make the class exciting. So for me, it's about making changes so that learners can benefit and not I can benefit, but doing it in a way that teachers still can feel in control. If a grade four teacher complains that the learners cannot write and read, there's 10 fingers pointing to the whole foundation phase, not only to grade three, but it focuses and it points to grade R, grade one, grade two, grade three. Because if you were a grade three teacher, you should know what my learners' prior knowledge should be from grade two, what must I teach them to put them on the path, and how deep must I go to prepare them for grade four. The more we can give the learners the opportunity to discover the learning, instead of standing there and you want to read all these things, first find out what they know and then move from the known to the unknown. Give them the chance. Let them come and tell you what they did. What did they discover? We want engaged learners. Learners must go home tired in the afternoon, not the other way around. With the workshops, um, firstly, I, I have a meeting with the HOD or the principal if he's, if he's um, available. So I sit them down and I, and I ask them, I want you to tell me what are your concerns? because they obviously they know the school better because I only visit three or four classes at a time when I go to a school. So tell me what, what, what do you want? What is your gaps? Where do you want me to support you in? And they will talk me through what, what they identify in their schools. So then I sit with them and I tell them, then I will tell you now what are the gaps that I see from my point of view when I visit a class and then we meet together and I say to them, okay, 
So I will do the workshop based on what you told me and, and what I've seen. So basically, every workshop is different because the needs are different. And if I can get one child, I can make a difference in one child's life. And I can do it through the teacher. And that teacher is surely going to touch another child and it's going to rub off onto more and more children. With these workshops, my, my ultimate aim is to get teachers to be excited about teaching again.